and about half a million women and children died in Biafran refugee camps. I survived two years in Biafran refugee camps and survived six months of blood of bloodbath near the Oguta war front. I survived a war that was described as Africa's bloodiest war. Biafra was located in the southeastern region of Nigeria, West Africa. My family of seven children lived in six refugee camps within Biafra. For two years and three months, onward of April 1967, my family lived in refugee camps in the Biafran cities of Onicha, Ogidi, Oba, Oka, Oketiti, and Ndone. Russian Ilushin bombers and MiG fighters were bombing and strafing our neighborhoods of around 14 Mba Road, Onicha, Biafra. On my 14th birthday, of August 23, 1968, my postal address was Chugura Philip Emma Agwale, St. Joseph's Refugee Camp, Okititi, Biafra, West Africa. On the cover of the Time magazine that was dated August 23, 1968, is an artist's portrait of Colonel Ojuku the leader of Biafra. The cover story of that issue of Time magazine was titled Biafra's Agony. For us, the agony was real. Half of the refugees at our St. Joseph's refugee camp, OKTT, Biafra, were living skeletons. My father, Nnameka James Emma Agwale, was the live-in refugee camp nurse at St. Joseph's refugee camp. In August 1968, my father told me that half of the children in our refugee camp, including my two-year-old brother, Peter, had kwashioko, a rare malnutrition disease caused by lack of protein. At St. Joseph's Refugee Camp of Okatiti, Biafra, children and grandparents that did not survive Kwashioko were buried without funerals and buried at our backyard. In Biafra, meat, pepper, and even salt were almost as scarce as gold. Three charity organizations, the Red Cross, the Roman Catholic Relief Organization named Caritas, and the World Council of Churches provided to our refugee camp, to our refugee camp, corn meal, Norwegian dried stock fish named Oporoko, and powdered milk. The relief foods we are secretly flown into Yuli Airstrip of Biafra. That 27-month refugee experience was the reason the United Nations has the portrait of Philip Emma Aguale along with the portraits of the likes of Albert Einstein in its gallery of refugees who made a difference. In July 1969, and at the banks of the River Niger at Ndone Biafra, I was conscripted at gunpoint and conscripted as a 14-year-old soldier into a war that was on par with the American Civil War or the Spanish Civil War. Without 